Hey, fun fans. We're getting close to reaching 1 million views on YouTube, and to help us celebrate 254, the Cheesy Poofs has provided us an awesome t-shirt to give away. All you have to do to be entered is to be a YouTube subscriber and let us know in the comments which team you're from. You can enter once in every YouTube video uploaded through the month of September, so make sure you comment below. Down here at the Milwaukee Maker Fair, we're actually checking out the Power Racing Series, and we got some uh, first alumni and first mentors here as well, too, that we're going to be just a few that we're going to be checking with. Uh, starting here with uh, Aaron Hill. He's a mentor on 971, longtime uh, firster. And uh, we want to talk a little about the cart, what even Power Racing Series is in the first place, uh, and even more. So, Aaron, uh, I just got to start on asking you. We just saw you race. Uh, you got knocked out. What happened during that? I blew a fuse. One of the side effects of this whole thing, like, this is a $500 electric go-kart, effectively, and one of the ways they limit the field is everyone has to run through a standardized fuse. So if you pull too much current through that fuse and it blows, you kind of got to go swap, swip, well, swap it and get back out there. But when you do that, it's kind of instant death in a sprint race. Well, it's very hard to make it back from that. And that makes a lot of sense. Can you talk to me about uh, what is the Power Racing Series? I mean, you guys travel all over the United States, right, for this. So can you talk, how did you get involved in really what is it? Um, I actually started doing this in, when I was actually down in Texas with my buddy Jason. Uh, we built a car, shipped it up to Detroit. It's effectively either take modify a Power Wheels car or make something that looks like it could have been a modified Power Wheels car. Um, silliness and ridiculousness is encouraged from the you get points for doing well in races and you also get points from a thing called the moxie board which has a whole bunch of labels that you make and buttons next to each one and you wonder that around the audience and whoever wants can push whatever button as many times as they want so you get points from that and that's where a lot of the points actually do come from so if you do want to do well you might have to look a little ridiculous well let, let's talk about that a little bit obviously a spongebob thing we got gary here we got patrick on here why did you choose the uh, SpongeBob theme, and what was the inspiration behind it? Alrighty, so entertainingly, for a person of my size, ergonomics and fitting in a car is a concern. The one I had before this was actually a tiny little Tykes Cozy Coop minivan that I barely fit into, and you can't really corner very well, and you can't lean. So I was basically trying to pick shapes that would be entertaining. I started going, I can make a snail and just put a shell behind me and eyes in front of me. Uh, and then that's just funny because it's a snail going fast. And then it was Google, I should probably do the topical ch kids children's snail. That'd probably work better. And then uh, so far it has. Uh, Moxie wise, we're the, currently in the lead season, All right. season wise. So talk about the season. How long does the season last for? How many races do you, what goes into that? Um, me in particular, this car started, the, the car before this, branded as Gary the Snail, ra raced in San Mateo, built another one, went to Detroit, and then they we're in Milwaukee. Uh, it's going to be heading to Atlanta, where my brother, Kellen Hill, will be racing it with it's my- It's a team thing, then. Yeah, with my sister. I'm shipping it there. Uh, well, there's actually a crazy person with a trailer that's driving from Michigan to there. Um, so I'm sending it down there for my siblings to race it. And then uh, in November, I'm headed to Orlando for the finish of the season. But there's also K Kansas City, Pittsburgh. Uh, there's an off-road rally up in New England area. That's dirt, dirt track level. Uh, I find it to be a fun, I, I call it my zero stress project because I could be in the middle of a weekend and the car will explode and I'd be like, neat, all right. Just part of it. I, I want to talk about a couple different features on here. Uh, you said it's all electric, right? Yep. Uh, but can you talk about just some of the different parts on this cart? Uh, and maybe even how does this relate to maybe some of your experiences in FRC at all? All right, there's an entertaining different mindset from FRC with the perspective of it is only $500, so you are limited with regards to what you can use. That equates to a lot more steel, and that's also for durability reasons, and it's easier to work with and weld. So this tube is four main tubes. Oh, well, sorry, this, fr this tube frame is four main tubes, and then a whole bunch of stuff bolted onto it, and other little doodads. But it's all TIG welded, and that's a very different construction style than you used to do, usually do in FRC. And there's a couple off-the-shelf things that just make life easier. You can make them yourself for a little cheaper, but you can get a front hub with bearings in it for $9.95. So. What are, what are a custom, maybe a couple uh, custom components you have on this? Um, everything you see that's green or painted, et cetera, is custom. The, all these sweet blue bumpers, uh, those are actually the 2018 power-up field HTPE that we cut up from FRC, old field parts. So those are pretty nice for me, not getting caught on people and sliding through traffic perspective. A nice, nice curved front bumper. Um, <clears throat> I recently got a 3D printer for myself, so started playing around some with that. I have quick, quick change batteries. Battery in and out is literally 
dropping that in and plugging it in, and now I can lift the car by that. Like little things like that speed stuff up. So from my perspective, um, weighing 200 plus pounds, it's make the car as light as possible. So I run lighter batteries and swap every 15 minutes. Some people run a bigger battery and don't, and then they don't have to waste that time. That's kind of similar to what we see in like maybe NASCAR or something like that with how they how they gauge your fuel in other areas as well too. Hilariously, yes. Well, thanks for taking the time to show us off. What a crazy competition. This is this is pretty cool and cool to see what uh, FRC mentors do outside of FRC. Believe it or not, they actually do have lives sometimes out of FRC as well. So Aaron, thanks for taking the time and uh, good luck the rest of the way, man. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.